What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you yet another installation of our Pokemon X and Y Battle Music Review. Now, as you all know, I possess a massive fetish for Pokemon music. So, when it comes to Pokemon X and Y, as you all know, I am excited about the features that the game may hold, but I'm even more excited about the music. A lot of you guys were telling me about the new Kangaskhan form that was revealed and asked me why I didn't cover it specifically. Well, simply because while I do have a very soft spot for Kangaskhan as it was the first Pokemon I ever used in competitive battling. At the same time, I do care more about the presentation that Kangaskhan was revealed in rather than Kangaskhan himself. Simply because earlier, or rather later in the presentation, they actually revealed a new piece of X and Y battle music. And as you all know, that's what I'm really on. I want to hear that music. We're going to have to hear that music more than anything else in terms of X and Y interaction. I want to make sure that it's cool. Anyways, I'm going to play you a little sample clip taken from Jay Witz's video of the old World Tournament introduction video and we'll basically just hear out where he introduced the gym leader battle music. So, take a listen right now at the original sound clip. Yeah, so go ahead. So the song you're hearing right now The people are kind of loud, but you can sort of hear the beat a little bit. You're going to have to listen really close. So this is a song from Pokemon X and Y when you're battling against a gym trainer. You hear that? This is also the first time for us to play anywhere in the world. Listen real close. Listen real close. So Pokemon X and Y, if you really take the sound, it's evolved quite a bit from previous battles. You can hear it sort of, kind of, sort of. So on the Nintendo DS platform, we had some restrictions to the expressive capabilities that we can do with sound and music, but those have kind of gone away on the Nintendo 3DS. Well, you guys get the point. Anyways, so if you followed my format from beforehand, you would know that there was a YouTuber called called YouTuber. His name is YouTuber6061, and what this guy does is specialize in hearing the original raw um, entry for a soundtrack in X and Y, and then remixing it himself totally, or rather, not remixing it, but doing his best to remake it as he heard it. Now, the footage from the Jay Witz video was a little bit bad in terms of audio, but there are other videos of the World Tournament intro video as well that make the audio somewhat easier to hear. So, most likely YouTuber6061 repieced the audio using many audio clips to try to hear out exactly what the Gym Leader music sounded like. And as you all know, this is going to pretty much be the official Gym Leader music because of the way that he put it together. So, big props to YouTuber6061. Let's not waste any time and let's get into what this brand new Gym Leader battle theme will be. I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't care. Sounds funky as hell. Huh. This is. Whew. Uh. What? This is funky. I like it. Oh, man. Guys, if there's one example of the instruments in X and Y, it's this. No longer is Pokemon handheld gaming held back in terms of audio production by the reduced instrument sound from the fact that it's in a hand, small handheld console. Now they can play full-fledged instruments in the battle music, and that's exactly what you're hearing right now. I cannot lie, this has a very sexual vibe to it, man. Kinda slow, but it's okay. It's okay. I like it, I like it, it's alright. I'm digging it. I love the instruments, man. Like, that's what I love about X and Y. They can play... Wait, what's this part? I like that. I like that part, I like that. But, that's the thing about X and Y, man. They can play slow songs, but because the instruments are so good, it'll sound great. They couldn't play a song like this in Ruby and Sapphire, or in Diamond and Pearl, or even Black and White. 
Because the DS wouldn't allow them to. They wouldn't have the crisp instrumental sounds that we hear. But in X and Y, it's no longer a problem. So songs, even if they're slow paced, even if they're a little low tone, they can still sound excellent. And that's what we're experiencing right now, man. It doesn't change up too much though. That's one thing I have. I mean, it sounds nice, it sounds different, but for the gym leader battle theme, even though it's a great sounding song, I don't know if it's appropriate for a gym leader theme. Even though, you know, YouTuber 6061 has nothing to do with what the song is. This is just what the song sounds like. It sounds cool and all, but do you think it's appropriate for a gym leader theme? Let me know in the comments section because I'm kind of conflicted. I want to say it's awesome. It is an awesome song. It is a very awesome song. But is it fit for the gym leader battle theme, you know? Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any other music that you want your boy here to review, even if it's fan-made Pokemon X and Y music, I'll check it out. I might do a review of it. But either way, guys, I want to thank you once again for tuning in to this segment of the Pokemon X and Y music review from your boy Iceman Etika. Anyways, I am not going to waste any more of your time. Thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you all on the flip side. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a goddamn good one. Bye-bye.